What's up everyone? Uh, today I'm going to be looking at the GEP210 from GEPRC. Uh, it is a 210 millimeter quadcopter frame designed for FPV racing. Purchased mine from Banggood.com. It was around 40 bucks. Took about 10 days to get over to me, uh, so not too bad. What you're seeing in front of you is uh, everything that came inside the box minus one item, which is the instruction manual or assembly manual. As you can see, it's not very fancy, but uh, it's not too difficult to figure out how to put it together once you actually start building it. So what do we get in the package? Uh, we do get the, the main board. Uh, the main board itself is uh, three millimeters um, in thickness. I've got my little handy dandy measuring thing here, so let's have a look. Uh, there we go, uh, right around three. And the rest of uh, the panels are uh, at two millimeters. So there's the uh, bottom plate. And if we take a look, these are the side plates for the FPV camera, again at uh, two millimeters. What else we get in the box? We do get two battery straps, which was really nice of them to throw in. You also get uh, some uh, zip ties and, you, and the actual XT60 uh, wire and the connector already attached to it. So a little bit of savings, you don't have to buy that, which was really nice. Uh, the PDB, the power distribution board, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to end up using it. It has uh, the ESC ground and uh, power on the sides. So when you actually install it in there uh, and you put the sides on it, um, it, it may be a little bit difficult to actually fit everything in there. So I'll probably end up using a, a different power distribution board. Uh, but this board, uh, it does also have 5 volt out and 12 volt out. So pretty much everything's on there. Uh, they have their logo there as well. When you install it, you can actually see the logo from the bottom. Uh, I'm not sure if you care or not, but uh, that is the power distribution board. In the back of the quad, uh, they actually include the LED strip that goes in the back. There's six total. They are the WS2812 type. Uh, on the back here, you can see that there's a data in, 5 volt, and ground on it. I know it can be a little bit tiny to see. Uh, but anyways, you can program these if your flight controller has the ability like the uh, F3. You can program the LEDs to do pretty much whatever you want them to do in whatever colors that you want them to go in. Uh, you've got the um, actual uh, FPV mount for the camera. It is very, very tiny. I'm not sure how I've got the camera coming. I don't know how I'm going to attach it yet, uh, but I'll have to take a look at it. It does have some uh, mounting for the screw holes on the side. This thing, I believe, is right at about 29 inches or 30 inches in width. Yeah, it's uh, 30, 30 inches uh, from side to side. So I'll take a look at that once I start putting it together. I'll probably make another video with uh, me putting all the parts together. And uh, lastly, um, of course, uh, you have the, the two sides for the sides, uh, the FPV sides that covered that, and then the top plate itself is, uh, is right here as well. Um, all the mounting uh, um, screws, everything else is coming with there. For the bottom plate, where the actual flight controller and the power distribution board goes, you've, you've got these uh, spacers. Uh, they are at 15 millimeters, so you have 15, 15 millimeters of space in between there to get the board and also um, the flight controller to go in. So not much room. That's going to be my only concern with this build, being my first one. Not sure how everything's going to fit in there. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put the whole thing together and uh, we'll take a look at it again, take some additional measurements and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like put together. So that's it. We have a GEP 210 from GEP RC put together. Uh, they left out one of the side panels over here just so I could show you guys uh, the room that's in there. Uh, it does kind of nicely have on the actual panels that go on the sides. There is a nice hole here. So for your flight controller, uh, you should be able to have the USB uh, plug, the, the micro USB plug coming from the side so you can easily uh, change your settings and stuff for your flight controller. That same hole is on both sides, so it's literally the same exact piece. Um, but uh, the actual space here in between the, the frame, 
we've got uh, just like you know I showed you with the connectors we got 15 millimeters of, of space to to play with inside here so it's not a whole bunch um, I do really like the LEDs in the back um, you know that's that's going to be a nice touch just having it built into the frame instead of trying to figure out something that may or may not fit onto the quad it also has that little angle to it which is really really cool camera i mean that's really my my main concern is i don't know how the camera is going to fit in there so we'll have to take a look at that um, and then obviously the um, video transmitter i'm going to put that back here and then the uh, receiver uh, i'm going to try to squeeze that in here from the top here, if we take a look, uh, battery space. This is a 1500 milliamp hour Bonka. So that fits nicely onto the quad. And uh, if we take a look at the entire space that we have here, let me just go ahead and uh, extend this out. So as far as the, the length of the battery, and pretty much go all the way to here, I would say you have about 106 millimeters of length to go by. And then for the actual width of the battery, we would need to take a look at it from these little uh, battery posts, which it has these, uh, these little nubs here that's going to nicely hold your battery in place. So you really just need the strap to, to kind of make sure it doesn't fly, fly off. Um, but the space that we got here is uh, right at uh, 37. So the width of the battery can be 37. Obviously, you can go in the other direction as much as you want. So 106 by 37, it should definitely fit a 4S battery with no problems at all. Uh, what else about the frame? Um, so, I, I, you know, the size is perfect. Uh, by the way, from the, the motors uh, to motors, it's exactly 210 millimeters. I don't have a ruler that has millimeters on it, but it, it comes out to eight and a quarter uh, inches, which if you convert that, it comes out to right around 209.5. Uh, so 210, it is definitely a 210 frame, which is really good. Um, weight wise, let me go ahead and grab a scale and we'll measure uh, the weight real quickly. So let me zero out our scale. So the frame, which we'll need to put this here, we'll add this piece here as well. So this is with the power distribution board and all the screws that I put in there. Uh, we are at 126 grams. Um, not too bad. I mean, I think it advertised it to be 98, uh, 99 grams is what the advertised weight is. But that may be without the power distribution board or maybe that's even without the mount for the camera. But 126. I'll, I'll put another video out as I, as I build this and put it together. Uh, so that way I can also show you, um, which I, I can also just quickly show you, I've got a, um, a 5045 prop here. So if we take a look at the prop, the 5045, it, it definitely does fit in because obviously the, it, it would be up here, but you know, we can see that the prop itself, it's, it's, it's going to go a little bit on top of where you may put your Mobius or, or any other action cam that you have. I think that's some of the problems that people were also complaining that, you know, with these props, uh, you really don't have any room to put a strap there for, for the camera. So I can definitely see that being a problem. I don't have a Mobius yet, so I can't actually try it out with it, but I will eventually get one of those bought here as well. Uh, just looking forward to getting this, uh, this little beast flying. So that's all I've got for today. Thanks so much for, for watching. Hopefully it was a little informative. Again, this is my first video, so don't be too harsh on me on this. Uh, I'd really appreciate you watching, and I'll try to get some other videos out on all, this, all the other stuff that I'm going to be uh, putting on the quad and kind of review those as well. So uh, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you liked it. Liked it if you do. And uh, have a wonderful day.